gets a little more hairy as we go to three. VP Race Fuels, front wheel drive, Hornet main events. Oh boy, 15 laps of high speed chaos. Starting in position number 18. And what a front row. Yes, well, look at the sun. What about the back row? Starting 18th, outside row, row, position, yeah. row number nine, the zero call. five, pain pickles. Good call. Starting 17th, the 18 of win E step. Starting 16th, the triple seven of Blaze Coggins. It's a fast car, too. Inside row eight, starting 15th, the 80 of Doug Weinberger. Starting 14th, Rodney Grant in the 38. Starting 13th, Daniel Tate, the 2D. Starting 12th, Blake Hedrick in the 4X. Starting 11th, Brandon Collins in the 13B. Marcus Locklear starting 10th in the 7L. Travis Lankler in the front wheel flyer starting in 9th. Starting 8th, Shannon Barnhill, the X. Starting 7th, Bruce Denman, the 74. Starting 6th, Trevor Batoya, the 26. Starting 5th, Cody Page, the C11. Willie Fowler in the D5 starting 4th. Ryan Owens, car 16, starting 3rd. Jonathan Shratt on the front row in the 311. John Wyndham in the 65. Will John Wyndham go to the rear to get double the money? We're going to find out, and we have an in-car camera view this time coming from the front wheel fr flyer, Travis Lankford. He has got the in-car on Dervision. I believe this may be one of the first times ever Dervision.com has the in-car camera, especially in these front wheel drives. But what a view this is going to be. If anybody was going to the rear to take the Dryden double down challenge, I thought the 65. 65 might do it. But I don't think he could get to the front. Surratt is too good. Payne Pickles is already back there. It's too many good cars. How fun would that be to see both Surratt and Wyndham join Pickles in the back and watch them march forward? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I think the way the rules are, only one of them could go to the back and get to take the challenge, though. Well, one gets the choice. If the other yep. one doesn't, yep. then the outside guy gets a choice yep. as well. Yep. So Wyndham, let's see if anybody's got anything. Well, that car was just unbelievable last night. If it's, I talked to somebody about it. He somehow got some kind of situation that keeps the front end of the car down on the ground. The back, back, he could care less about the back yeah, of the car. Because he said the front that end happens just a lot it. in these cars. Yeah, they're, they're, I think somebody told me they're going almost 90 mile an hour going into these turns here. That is scary. <laughs> I wouldn't do it in a passenger car. I wouldn't do it in anything. I mean, it's, do would, not try this at home. I don't know what these V8s and stuff are going, but 90? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> a little too fast for my liking. It's uh, okay to go 90 occasionally down the Internet State straight, but uh, I've never done it before, but I'm saying I'm in North Carolina there. State Police. His name <laughs> is Mark Abernathy. He is the announcer at Carolina Speedway. He'll be there True. most weekends during the summer. You can catch him there. You head down your way, I-95 in Florida. If you don't run 90, you're in the way. Yeah, well, you are right about that. So let's see what happens. Probably laps. two of the best in this division on the front row, John Wyndham. Jonathan Surratt, three feature wins between them so far in the World Short Track Championship. And we're going to get the view from the in car and already Langford giving a bump. Watch the 05 of Payne Pickles. He's already passed eight cars and hit the ninth one. Jeez, oh, Pete. <laughs> Payne Pickles started last. He's already passed eight cars. Meanwhile, looky here, looky here, Jonathan Surratt giving Wyndham all he wants. And Wyndham's going to take advantage of that. Pickle power. Hey, Pickles in the 05. Now we've got the drone overhead view. Man, oh, man. The Dirt Vision crew is pulling out all the stops here for the front wheel drives. This is an awesome to watch it, not only from here in the tower, but also on the monitor for everybody at home watching this broadcast. It is John Wyndham trying to make it two for two. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen, Rick. <laughs> that was awesome. Over the top of the race cars. Meanwhile, on the racetrack, Wyndham is stretching out over Surratt by about four or five, six car lengths. Payne Pickles has finally reached the top and five. And Blaze Coggins is in trouble over in turn number two. We'll see if he can roll seven. to the inside. He's slow on the racetrack. We'll see if he's able to limp it off. I believe Wyndham just picking him up and throwing him down. And one of the best in the business, not in his own car, Jonathan Surratt, trying to keep pace with him. And the 16 of Ryan Owens, he's been good all weekend. He's been good all weekend. Payne Pickles is up to fourth. Uh, been a long way back from your top three. It's going to be a quick 15 laps, too. I say that. It at could, this rate. Yeah, at this rate, we're already almost a third of the way into this main event. They're getting scattered out. So Payne Pickles, I, it was a good move for him to pick up about 10 on that first lap. You and now he's a long way back. Got to excuse this expression, but I'm telling you, coming from the back to work his way inside the top ten on the green flag, Payne Pickles is the real deal. I apologize for that one, ladies and gentlemen. Back wow. to the race. 
that crickets, was a, crickets. <laughs> that was not too bad. That was not too bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a two-thirds of a punt, and <laughs> that is P. John Wyndham, your race leader. He is stretched out over Surratt. Surratt uh, not able to keep pace for this 65 car. Man, this thing is just unbelievable Wind, fast. Wyndham keeps showing up at that, this thing, and he'll be the all-time king. Yeah. I, hate we didn't have Andrew, I hate we didn't have Andrew Smith. Oh, Barney Hill's got a problem. I hate we didn't have Andrew Smith here with us. Oh, He's my a, God, him and maybe... Um, Eric Buzel, yeah, all those, another yeah, one. Yeah, they've been here with us before. Right. And uh, we've had no driver ever win three World Short Track Championship features in this class. Wyndham can become another one to win two. Will we get a first driver to win three? That's going to be a tall order because one of them, Surratt, doesn't have anything for it in the leader right now. No, it's, uh, he's just sitting back and watching him pull away. Surratt's got a problem, too. Surratt, the 11 car, looks like he might have a problem. Problem for Barnhill. He's out. He pulls yeah, the X machine out of it. I believe Surratt Surratt's is, off the pace. Yeah, he's got. He's still running. Even off the pace for him is still a fast pace, but it's nothing like what he was. No, Jonathan Surratt's car is going away, and whether it's mechanical or whatever the case is, he has slowed up. Payne Pickles, however, he's he's hanging in there. But, man, he has really got his work cut out for him yeah. running in that fourth spot. Rutherford, North Carolina's Willie Fowler running in fifth. Hadn't called, called his name that much this weekend. No. He's had a pretty solid weekend. He had, I think he had about top six finish last night. Ryan Owens having a great run. This young man had a good run last night. And, again, he's showing his wares here today running in the second spot. And you would think, wow. Owens is in front of Surratt, one of the best in the business. But wait, you've got to look a half a mile ahead yeah. to see the 65. Yeah, a good run in second spot. He's going to lose by a half a lap unless something changes here in the next uh, minute and a half. Yeah, four laps to go. You know, we're running 20 second laps. And with what is now, what, four laps to go? That's 80 seconds. That's, like you said, a little less than a minute and a half. This one's over. The Wyndham guy, I man, it's, it's unbelievable. He's just... He just mowed them down. It's amazing that Look car. Out. This is going to get a little hairy here as he's working on the 13B of Brandon Collins. That's your 10th place car, by the way. He's about to put a lap down. Ooh, and make contact down the back stretch, too. Yep. It got a little, tight, a little tighter. It needed to be there. Uh, hopefully, it wasn't any kind of damage to hurt the 65's chances of winning because he deserves it. Oh, the 13. Oh, they want to go around. The car he just left went around. Wow. That was a delayed reaction. That's like me slapping you in the arm. And about 20 seconds later, you go, there. ouch, yeah. oh. Yes. That's exactly what happened there with Collins. So, does this play into the hand of Ryan Owens? Is it possible he can steal something here? No. We're going to ask no. <laughs> Adam Stewart. Adam Stewart knows, he's like Patinky. He's one of those guys that's very quiet, very subdued, but knows everything about everything. Well, what do you think, Adam? Thank you. That was a quick answer. See, he is so fast. I, uh, he actually I I sent the mental telepathy to me to give me his answer, and yeah. I received that well and good. Yeah, Adam says it's scary. You're right. It is scary, Adam. No doubt about that. And he is an Alabama fan, and for him, I'm actually going to check the score for him because he is – you know, been working very hard here. And it's 20 to nothing, Alabama over Mississippi State with 2.19 to go in the first half. There you go, Adam. You're welcome. Roll tight. There you go. Uh -huh. Lenny well, Batiki. Well, you and Adam, uh, you know, vie for whether it's Georgia, Florida, or whatever. We've got uh, Nick Walker here. All right. Nick, come on up here. Talk there. I got to stand over here. Happy ninth anniversary. What are you going to tell the Kayla after she comes back from trick-or-treating with the kids? Hold on, hold on. Here we go. I wish my wife and kids were here to see this, but we got a newborn baby at home. We didn't want to bring him out in the elements. And, I mean, we've been trying to win this race for five years. And tonight, everything just clicked. I got all my friends here, my family. I got to thank my brother, most of all, for Walker's Brothers Racing, Brown's Roofing, Andy Kimmel with Tank Town, the horse, badass horsepower under the hood, Steve's Head Shed. And, I mean, everybody has ever threw a hand in this car to help us get to where we are today. You're an engine builder by trade. How about that horsepower pulling you down the straightaway? Could you feel it? Oh, this car, it never quits pulling. It's, it, it's, a, it's a hog from the beginning to the end. The car was on a rail. I could put it anywhere I want to. We couldn't ask for a better race car right you now. You should have seen your brother and that whole group, man. They were shaking. They were excited. Could you feel their energy? Could you feel it now, how happy they are for you? I can almost feel like, you know, I, you can't run mirrors in this class, so you just... You don't know if anyone's with you, you just got to run as hard as you can every lap and hope you don't see a bubble beside you. 
Hot Rod Walker takes the win. Back to you. So in the words of the late, great Randy Savage, ooh, yeah, time to go back to green, yeah. The late Dusty Rhodes back here already, too. I like it. I like it. Changing the top five, the 26 car, Trevor Batoya. Two to go. Slips into the top five. Willie Fowler trying to get back in it. But out front, Wyndham just motors away from the field. Yeah, When he's... I say motors away, I mean, I'm not taking away from his driving ability, but he is motoring away. And like from you said, guys. that front end of that race car planted. And the, the rear axles don't actually sway all that much. That car is glued to the racetrack. You see some of the other cars, the rear end will break loose, even though they are front wheel drive. So much momentum that it just carries the rear of the car around and not the 65. He has got this thing figured out. And I don't think it's that new of a race car. And he got the checker flag right there. Car 65 takes the win. So Wyndham picking up his second straight in as many days, joining Andrew Smith, Jonathan Surratt, Eddie McGrew, and Joey Kelly as repeat winners of this event. Finishing fifth, car 26, Trevor Batoya. Finishing fourth, the 05, Payne Pickles. Finishing third, the 311, Jonathan Surratt. Finishing second, Ryan Owens. Your race winner, John Wyndham, in the 65 car. Race number two for...